Hello, today I'm here with number five, with number five, with the fifth video this week and uh, this is my US Place week. If you not know what I'm talking about, I can leave the first video up here, but this week I will only upload videos with my US Place palettes and today it is the Mini Masquerade palette. And I have done, I think, both first impression and a collab on this one. I did a collab with Alessandra, I can also leave that up here. So, uh, I'm going to use this today. And for today we are going to use only one row. And this is 16 shades. And one thing I like about this palette is half of the palette from here and up. It is a very colorful, fun palette. And here and down it is a more neutral palette. So I think this palette is perfect if you, if you want everything. So... What I mean with one row, I don't know where to hold it. I'm going to use all the shades in one row and first I was like I'm going to just take one, two, three, four. Um, but that's a little bit boring. So I'm going to count it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And I will go to random.org and see which one I should use. So this can be <laughs> super fun or super boring super easy or super hard. So I'm going to put in one and eight. And I would really like to show you, but I think I can't, but we will go. Number two, if you could see a shit. So number two is this one and I am okay, it's one matte, or this bore this is pretty matte, but it's got some shimmer to it, but I don't think the shimmer, no, it's like, uh, it's like only matte, and now I swatched this in the wrong order, and these are the colors I have to work with, and okay, you know I am so bad at this. Okay, this doesn't seem like something super hard or something super unusual. These go very good together. So, I will just have to think what I would want to do. So, I am back and I think I know what I want to do. Um, yes, so I will start with Bori, this bright pink and I will take that in my whole crease. And as I said in my, I think it was not my first video this week, I think it was on Wednesday when I did with the magic palette that if I would buy the magic palette again, I would buy this small one because in the magic palette the pants pants the pants are so freaking big and I will never pen the whole palette. I will never pen a whole palette with anything. I think I had too little caffeine today. I usually drank seven bottles, seven cans of Monster each week, but for like one and a half month ago, I quit drinking Monster or any energy drinks. I only drink, drink Pepsi. In the beginning it was awful. I had this really strong and it was like headache. I have never had that headache before. It was like knives in my head in two weeks. Okay, <laughs> I hated it. And now, okay, this palette is so dirty. I, just before I start to film this, I took it out from my organizer, put it on the table, but it fell down and I was like, I hope it didn't break and it did not. So I will take Calabar. And I will do a halo eye today. We'll take this calibre and put it 
as the dark color. There, and now I am doing a halo eye with... I like to do not the normal halo eye, like the halo eye with mattes around the shimmer. I like to do it either with two shimmers or have the shimmer here and the matte as the halo. I will take this Makira. That's not what it's called. I love Yves Place, but the names are so hard for me to pronounce some of these. So I'm going to take Makeda and put it in the inner as the halo. And I will see if I can do it without um, to put concealer down. I think it will work pretty good. And it do. I think if you want to go into, if you want to start using colors, I think that Yves Place can be a good place to start. Even though they are very pigmented, um, they are easy to work with. And if you are a beginner and like, if you want to do a halo eye or something, but you don't want to mess with concealer or any other sticky base US Place is perfect because you don't need it you can do it without I don't know how this looks I think it turned out pretty good and now when I'm filming this um, yesterday my friend Annette here on YouTube, she put up 10 looks with 10 Uvia's Place palette. And I am so freaking impressed with her. I usually are. But this time I was so impressed because I have to come up with 7 looks. And that has been pretty hard for me. And for her to come up with 10 looks... It is amazing and she is she has such a unique style to see makeup. I'm going to take away the fallouts, put on my base, and then we will do the under eyes together and I have one shade left so I guess you know which shade I'm going to have on my under eyes, but I think I like this. This isn't something that I have done before, but with this color combo. So yeah, I will fix this, I will put on a base and then I will be back and fix the under eyes and try to pick a lipstick that goes great with this. I don't know what it would be, but I will try. Face and brows are on and am I in focus? My sight is getting worse and worse, I think. My boyfriend was like, yeah, you can wish for glasses for your birthday. And I'd be like, I'm not going to wish for glasses when it's my birthday. Never a chance in hell. Um, so, I have lost my brush. Here it is. <laughs> so, for my under eyes, I have this color left. Sobo, so I'm going to use that out here and then I actually think I will take Bori and put it in here So maybe I should start with Bori Okay, not a good brush I like that H&M called this a precision eye color brush and it's like it's pretty fluffy and something like that and then I will take Sobo and put it on my lash line, the rest of my lash line.
And now I just wonder what should I have in my waterline. Maybe not pink again. If we take out uh, the pencils. Or maybe... I think I will take this one. This is from Colourpop. And this is in color fast. Oh, <laughs> thought I was going to drop it fast lane. And it's a dark green. I wonder how that will be. We will see. Okay, maybe that was a good color. Now I will put on my mascara. Okay, and for lips, I have one idea. So, okay, the look is finished. And for lips, I used the Dead Roses from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Matte lipstick, love this lipstick. It's a really cool color. And this is the finished look. And um, it was my one row makeup look <laughs> with the mini masquerade. And I got uh, this row. And I think I like this look. And I think this shows how versatile this can be. Because I didn't use any of this bluish color. And yeah, I really like this palette. And I think this was a fun thing to do. Uh, four colors is sometimes enough to do a look. So now it's only two looks left. So now we have 50% chance to guess the right palette for tomorrow. And I really hope you liked this video. I like how this came out. Yeah, I do. And I think I did a good match with the lips and the eyes. Maybe now when I see it, maybe not. So I really hope you liked this video and as I said we have only two palettes left and two days left on this used place week. So I hope I will see you tomorrow and bye!